get started. Today, we're going to make this hologram effect. Open After Effects and load your footage. You'll notice my footage says Shutterstock as I'm using their footage for free. Start a new comp with the background video and place the green screen footage of the head on top. First thing I'm going to do is draw a mask around the face on the green screen footage. This will get rid of most of the watermark. This mask is called a garbage map. When doing this, don't worry about being too close to the face and don't use too many points but don't worry too much it'll change later in the effects and presets panel type key light and drag and drop this onto the layer in the settings choose the color picker under screen color and chain and click in the green area this will get rid of the green screen i'm going to turn to the alpha channel which means it'll go black and white this will now show anything in black will not appear on the screen and everything in white will remain it actually pulled a really good key, but the hair and edge needs a bit of adjusting. Open screen matte and change the clip back and white ever so slightly. And I'm going to add a one to the screen pre-blur. Pre Brill. Now, change it back to RGB. You can see that it's done a good job. Scale and position the face. I need the face to appear in the guy's hand. So I really need to see his right hand and not being hidden by the face. Duplicate the background layer and make sure this layer is at the top. Then draw a mask around his right hand and I'm going to rename this as hands. Then keyframe this mask by clicking on the stopwatch button in the mask path and add a tiny bit of feather. Perfect. Now, when I hit play, you'll notice my head is moving. So what does that mean? Let's track it in Mocha. Go to Animate and click on Track Motion in Mocha, and Mocha should load. Once loaded, click on the pen tool here, drag a shape around an object you want the face to track to. To close this bezier shape, click on the first point you started with. Most importantly, make sure you choose an object that Mocha can track, like this watch, but not the whole hand, as it blends into the background. Once it's done, click on Export Track Data here. Make sure to set it to Transform Data and click on Clip Copy to Clipboard. Back in After Effects, right click and create a new null object. Make sure you're at the beginning and paste the transform keyframes in. Parent this, parent the face layer to this null object. Brill, it's now tracked. You might need to reposition it and scale it in but after that the face should be tracked ignoring the garbage mask for now you'll need point here also keyframe the scale so open the null layer open scale and click on the stopwatch to delete all the keyframes okay now we can go through and keyframe the garbage mask for the face layer remember you don't have to be close as you need to let the green screen do its job perfect now we can add the hologram effect Create a new solid and make sure it's white. In the effects and presets panel, search for vin Venetian, Vene just blinds. Drag and or type blinds and it'll find it for you. And drag and drop this onto the solid. Change the transition to 40%, the direction to 90, and the width to something really low like 3. Go back into the composition. And change, the comp and change the track mat for the face from no track mat to alpha mat. It will then apply these blinds to the face layer. <coughs> sorry, sorry, excuse me. Keyframe some movement into here. Create a new solid and make sure it's white again. And I'm going to name this as noise. From the effects and presets panel, drag and drop fractal noise. Change the fractal type to max and the noise type to black. Change the contrast and brightness to bring up a big contrast. Open the transform and uncheck uniform scaling. Increase the width quite high, something like 1301, and the height down to something around 21. I'm adding a one for good luck, who knows. Now, 
Pre-comp the noise layer and add an adjustment layer. Make sure you have move all attributes selected and click OK. For this layer, drag and drop displacement map and change the map layer to noise layer. And I'm going to rename this layer as map. Create a new adjustment layer. I'm going to rename this layer to color and add tint to it and change the white to the color you'd like the hologram to be. So I'm going to choose this blue. Add a glow effect and change the threshold, radius and intensity to what you want your hologram to look like. I went with 27.5, 106 and 2.1. Duplicate the glow again and change the color looping to sawtooth B A. And I'm going to change the radius to 78 and change the color a bit, make it a bit lighter. Now we can pre-comp the face, the blinds, the noise, the map and the color. Again, make sure you select move all attributes and hit OK. Open this pre-comp and add a new layer. Open the pre-comp and add a new adjustment layer and place on this CC radial blur and change the amount to 14 and click here to center where you want the effect to come from, from the middle of his face. Change the type from scratch to straight zoom and then alt click on the stopwatch here. It will then open an expressions text box in which you will type wiggle open brackets to comma 10 close brackets and click outside the box area. This is going to not only add a slight blur, but make it shake at the same time, giving it some depth. Create a new solid and make sure it's white again. Rename this to light and drag and drop the opacity for this down to 31. One for good luck. Draw a triangle mask around the face to add a glow effect as if it was coming from his hands. Make sure this is above the noise layer and then change the feather to 37. Drag and drop linear wipe onto this layer and change the wipe angle to 180 and change and transition down to 4% and add the same wiggle expression. Have a play with the numbers with wiggle because two by 10 or two by eight, whichever one works for you. I'm going to copy the glow effect from the color layer and paste this into this layer. Finally, I'm going to add a new adjustment layer and add lens flare from the effects and presets panel and make this make sure that this is at the bottom of the face. And you're done. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe button. It's free, so why not? And stay inspired.